Welcome back boys and girls, it's Gigi and I'm so happy to see you once again this week. I hope you're ready for today's Bible story. Hope is going to come and help us out. I, I saw her just a little while ago. Let me see if I... Hope! Hi Hope, could you come over here for a second? Hi Gigi, hi Hope, how are you? Doing great. Hi friends. Well, Hope, it's so nice to see you today, and I'm so glad that you're going to stick around for today's story. Um, did you have something you wanted to say? Sure, Gigi. You see, I have a little problem. Well, what in the world could it be? You see, I'm going to participate in the school spelling bee. Do you know what a spelling bee is, Gigi? I sure do. It's like a contest, right? They give you a word and you have to try to spell it correctly. That's right. Well, what seems to be the trouble, Hope? Well, you see, I have trouble spelling this one word. Well, what's the word? The word is waiting. Waiting. Oh, waiting. Yes, I seem to be having a little trouble with it. Well, let me hear you spell it. Go ahead and practice with me. Okay. Waiting. W-A-I-T-I-N um, hmm. G. That's right. You got it, Hope. Way to go. That was really good. Thanks, Gigi, but I always seem to get stuck on that last letter. But you got it. You spelled it correctly. Well, thanks, Gigi. You know, boys and girls and Hope, today's Bible story talks about a group of people that were waiting for something. They were waiting. And I'm not going to give it away, but I'm going to tell you this story. You going to stick around, Hope? Sure. Okay, boys and girls, the name of today's story it's called the day of Pentecost. God sends the Holy Spirit. And we'll find it in the Bible in Acts chapter 1, verses 8 through 15. And in Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 36. Gigi, uh-huh, yes. The dogs are barking. I heard them down there. I don't know what could be bothering him. I was just downstairs to see what they were up to and... I didn't see anything strange. Well, guess we better go ahead and read. Then you can check on them again. I like those dogs. I like them too. All right, boys and girls. So today's story is called The Day of Pentecost. God sends the Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples had plainly seen him disappear into a cloud as he ascended into heaven. The disciples had been sad when Jesus left, but they did not despair. They thought about his last instructions. Go back to Jerusalem and wait there for the Holy Spirit. He had said, he will give you power to be my witnesses. Now this was all so new to the disciples. How would they receive power? Who was the Holy Spirit? But they still obeyed Jesus' command even though they did not understand. In Jerusalem, about 120 believers gathered in a house. There they stayed for 10 days, praying and worshiping in beautiful oneness of heart. Eagerly they waited for the Holy Spirit to come, just as Jesus had promised. On the day of Pentecost, they suddenly heard a sound from heaven, like a mighty wind. What looked like small forked tongues of fire came down and rested on each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit from heaven, just as Jesus had said. Through the Spirit, they received a special ability. What was this special ability? God soon displayed it powerfully through the believers. Before this, they had been uncertain and fearful, but now they could not keep quiet about their Lord. 
In the temple they found great crowds of worshipers who had traveled for more than 18 cities and countries. The people listened very closely to the believers. They were amazed for everyone could hear his own language. It was a miracle. The believers were speaking languages they had never learned. Wow, that's right. Many people praised God for his great power. That day, Peter showed how much the Spirit had changed him. Only weeks before, he had denied Jesus. But now he was bold and a fearless preacher. His message of Jesus' saving grace was so touching and powerful that 3,000 people repented and became believers. In this way, the Christian church was born by the power of the Holy Spirit. Wow, they were really waiting and boy, oh boy, was it worth the wait. That's right, sure was. All right, boys and girls, three questions. And again, don't worry if you get a couple of them wrong. It's okay. Gigi gets uh, answers wrong sometimes too. But we're all learning together, okay? Number one, what happened on the day of Pentecost? Do you remember Hope? I think. Friends, help me out now. Okay. What happened? Um, believers were filled with the Holy Spirit from heaven. That's right. Boys and girls, how did you do? Believers were filled with the Holy Spirit from heaven. That's right. All right. Number two. How many people became believers after Peter preached. Do you remember boys and girls? How many thousand? That's right! 3,000. 3,000 people became believers after Peter preached. And number three, does the Holy Spirit still help people today? Oh, Gigi, friends, let's say it together. Yes, that's right. Yes, indeed. The Holy Spirit still helps people today. Well, boys and girls and hope you all did fantastic. Great job answering those questions. All right, parents, I have a scripture for you. It is found in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. This is what it says. And it came to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All right. And it shall come to pass afterward. Excuse me. Gigi got it wrong. See, Gigi makes mistakes too. Let me say it right this time. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All right. Again, that's Joel. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. All right, and we have a song, boys and girls. Hope you want to help me out. I'll try. I don't, I'm not real sure I know all the words, but I'll just chime in when I can. Okay, that sounds great to me. All right, boys and girls. The name of this song is called No More Waiting. No More Waiting. All right. You ready, Hope? Ready? They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. When suddenly there was a noise, there was a noise from the sky. It sounded like a strong wind. A strong wind very close by. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. And then they saw 
What looked like tongues, like tongues, tongues of fire, and it touched everyone. The Holy Spirit arrived in power. No more waiting, 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 waiting. They knew exactly what to do. No more waiting, 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 waiting. They knew exactly what to do. They went out into the streets, told everyone the good news, and everyone understood. The language wasn't confused. No more waiting, 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 waiting. They knew exactly what to do, what to do. No more waiting, 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 waiting. They knew exactly what to do. No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit had arrived, had arrived. No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit had arrived. All right, no more waiting. Wonderful, boys and girls. Hope, oh, thank you so much. You chimed in wonderfully. Thanks, Gigi. All right, well, that's it. We're going to close in prayer. All right, so close your eyes and bow your heads. Let's say a little prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for the wonderful children. Thank you for the story that we find in your word, the Bible. Lord, I thank you for hope. We ask, Father, that you would continue to bless us, continue to help us, continue to remember to tell you thank you for all that you've done. Please watch over all of the parents and all of the children as they go to school. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, that's it, boys and girls. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And click the like button. That lets us know that you are enjoying the stories. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, boys and girls.